everybody, Emilio Takas here. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create the effect that you just saw in Final Cut Pro 10. I was planning to release this video two weeks ago, but due to a very serious illness that I had, I couldn't record any talking heads, so here we are. The video was inspired by a tutorial from Aiden Robbins that he saw how to create the Gibson Hazard effect in Adobe Premiere. So without any further ado, let's go into Final Cut Pro 10. We are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface and the first thing that I want to do is to place the clips that will create the zoom sequence effect. You need to make sure that the clips on the sequence, they need to be 1, 2, 3 frames. We select the first clip and we go to the end of the clip by pressing down in our keyboard and we're counting 1, 2, 3 frames backward and then we're adding a keyframe on the scale all on the inspector panel and we go to the end of the clip again and we're changing the scale to 200. We select the second clip, we go to the beginning of the clip, we're adding a keyframe on scale all, we go to the end of the clip and we change the scale to 200. We will continue this process for all the other clips. Now on the last clip, I want the same thing, but I want it to last three frames. So I'm counting one, two, three frames. And I don't want it to be 200% in the zoom. I don't want it so zoomed in. So I'm going to put it 140%. And let's see what we have created so far. Now that's okay, but something is missing. And what is missing is the motion blur between the zoom sequence effect leaves. I'm going to use the motion blur effect from Mark Webster. So I'm taking the motion blur 2 layer and I place it right where the zoom sequence begins until the end of it. We're waiting for it to render and as we can see now we have a nice blur between the clips. The next thing I'm gonna do is to insert the music and some sound effects to enhance this effect and the final result is gonna look like this. Quick note here, if you don't want to buy Mark Webster's Motion Blair Effect Pack that I mentioned in the tutorial, you can experiment with Blair or Focus Effect inside Final Cut Pro 10 and you can create a very similar Motion Blair. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it helps a lot to my channel and also subscribe and ring the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Also, if you have any questions, I'm waiting for them in the comment section and I will reply to them as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.